So now let's move on to your roundhouse kick. Now this has multitude of parts, so let's break this down. I'm in my self-defense stance like this. I'm going to start to pivot out my front leg, so I turn it to the side. I'm going to bring my right hip up and then roll my hip. So my hip is rolling over. So I'm here. I have a pivot. I'm going to start to bring my leg up and I want to roll it in toward my adversary. So my hips in and I start to roll. At the same time, I'm extending my leg and using the top of my instep, so right here, to strike my adversary. I'm coming in, rolling, and then there's my kick. Now, if I'm doing that on the bag, I'm going to pivot off. As I pivot off, this comes up, and I roll it in. So I'm coming in, roll it. Now, you want to make sure your toes are close together and you're hitting the bag. When you do your roundhouse kick, this is the part you will mess up most likely. You need to take that hip and roll it into the bag. So I've actually kind of turned my hip all the way towards the wall. If I don't do that, my kick kind of comes up a little bit, but I really want to turn in towards the bag. If it comes up like that and your adversary has a good guard, you can actually hit your instep on their elbow and they're gonna win that altercation. So with the roundhouse, pivot, turn the hip, and then strike your bag.